the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Not alone, from before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Yes, you are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. Help me say, You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your road. You just got alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. and back you are on your throne you are God alone and right now through the good times and back you are on your throne you are God alone you are God alone Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. Bless the Lord for 2016. Thank you for His grace. Shiba balala balala bekosu bobia. You have done all things well and we give you glory. Glory, glory, glory. We give you glory. Thank you for 2015. Thank you for this awesome, magnificent year. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. I'd like you to walk to 10 people and tell them a great Happy New Year. Tell them it's a year of multiplying grace and influence. Walk up to 10 people. Are you talking to somebody?
hallelujah before we sit down i'd like us to rise up on our feet and at the count of three we will give a shout that will remind the devil that we are back we only went on play. Lord, God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's good to have everyone around. Um, we give God all the praise. I'm excited about this year and I'm happy to be here. Um, I welcome everyone, especially for those who are coming for the first time. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I'll try to be as brief as possible. It's usually our culture to explain the prophetic word. The first service is usually an explanation, a detailed explanation. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2, it said, I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower. It says, and I will see what the Lord will say. Hallelujah then verse 2 says that we write the vision and we make it plain we apologize to those who are at the back at the sides it's a year of multiplied grace and we'll make arrangement for that we really apologize i see so many people around praise the lord so we will be looking at what the Lord is speaking to us as a family of faith and all those who are connected um, there are hundreds and thousands of people connected to this ministry prophetically spiritually and so we're only a minute fraction of the people that we minister to who are connecting and uh, we give God all the praise Genesis chapter 1, please. Let's start off very quickly. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis 1, we'll look at 14 and 15. I just want to establish um, up front tonight the necessity of a prophetic word. Now, I know that there are people who um, think the yearly prophetic words are just cliches ministries copying themselves and um, a lot of people have even argued that there's no such thing as that um, that's an error the bible says in 14 it says and god said let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide day from night and let the light be for what for signs for seasons for days and for years 15 and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so the bible says a light can give you a sign and that light is a revelation so god gives us revelation as a light to signify what he intends to do so that we can align with what god is doing hallelujah oftentimes you will hear the prophet say according to the time of life this and this and that would happen um, when prophetic words are just coined out of pressure it becomes useless and the people just believe a lie but when prophetic words are birthed from the place of prayer and encounter it represents the dealings of God it represents his intention for a people that which he desires to bring before people and then they learn how to align so that they can receive the fullness hallelujah the bible says that we will run it says write the vision it says make it plain in other words explain it let it be very clear take away ambiguity from it he says so that he will run that reads it hallelujah praise the lord the lord declared unto us that this is a year of multiplied grace and influence brothers and sisters this is not a cliche there is no time please listen there is no time in the body of christ 
where the church of the Lord Jesus Christ has agreed over the things that the Lord will be doing in a season as it is right now most times we argue with ourselves over different perspectives somebody is saying God is this is a year of something another person is talking and you are wondering you mean God really said this you know there are all kinds of differences but then you would notice if you've studied the body of Christ especially the prophetic words that have come they have different linguistic expressions but the essence is communicating the very same thing that God is doing and so for me I am particularly very blessed and impressed with the body of Christ and the ability of men of God to really align to the spirit and hear that which the Holy Ghost has to communicate hallelujah Ezekiel chapter 47 Ezekiel 47 We'll read verse 2 to 5 and then we'll read verse 9. Ezekiel 47. Holy, holy, holy. And the people say, Holy, holy, holy. Lord, you are holy, holy, holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord, we say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Is the Lord, is the Lord God Almighty. Is the Lord God Almighty? The earth is full of Your glory. Lord, our lives are full of Your glory. One more time, and the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people cry, Holy, Holy, Holy. Then he brought me out of the way of the gate northwards and led me about the way without unto the utter gate that looked eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. Verse 3. And when the man that had a line in his hands went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters. And he says, the waters were to my ankles. Verse 4. He says, again, after a season of proving, after a season of dealing, he saw a need to step up the grace. And he said, and again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. He says, and the waters were to my knees. Verse 4 again, we're not done. Verse 4, please help us. Again, he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through and the waters were to my loins verse 5 afterwards he measured a thousand and he said it was a river that I could not pass over he says for the waters were risen waters to swim in a river that could not be passed over let's read verse 9 verse 9 he says and it shall come to pass listen the implication of the encounter with that river it says it shall come to pass that everything that liveth which moveth whithersoever the river shall come it says shall live then it says and there shall be a very great multitude of fish because these waters shall come hither 
for they shall be healed and everything shall leave without the river coming that means it's, it's a river that will bring effect it will be so striking the bible says whenever the river comes to a region everything that is supposed to be alive that is dead that river has capacity to bring it back to life and the people say holy 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 hallelujah the last one month has been a season of profound encounters for me profound encounters um i cannot begin to describe to you the experiences that i've had in the last one month very profound and deep spiritual experiences please pay attention and the lord began to show me so many things not just the prophetic word but direction for the body of christ that will be able to bring alignment we thank god as a ministry for what he has used this ministry to do to influence the life of people across this nation we thank god for the testimonies but let me tell you something compared to what god is about to do what you have seen are just shadows in the name of jesus christ i want you to be a believer this year make up your mind to believe every word that comes from the mouth of god the bible says they had the word just like we did it says but the word did not profit them make up your mind that you will not argue with the word of god this year don't, don't sit down and be philosophical how shall these things be the river will just pass you by you've got to be determined this year and say lord every word that comes from you i will receive it and insist that it produces results in my life hallelujah god is a god that walks on earth with times and seasons and he has communicated to us as a family of faith that he intends to multiply the grace the anointing the access that he has given us and to give us influence grace talks of empowerment grace talks of access grace talks of ability grace talks of the anointing the very ability of god it's important for us to understand this the grace of god talks of his capacity his anointing his ability that force that compels results scripture lets us know that grace can be multiplied that grace is in measures listen please the bible says grace and peace be multiplied unto you grace and peace be multiplied that means a man can grow in grace a ministry can grow in grace prophetically revealing to us in ezekiel 47 that he started with the river at the level of the ankle then to the knees then to the loins and then it was a river that covered the prophet and he says that river flowed to regions and every territory that river entered it began to cause changes it caused that which was dead to come alive i want you to know that grace can be multiplied every level you have seen in god is only a shadow of the possibility that is in god are we together every level of grace you have seen if you think you saw the power of god in 2015 watch what god does this year if you think you saw miracles signs and wonders if you think you saw the dispensing of the word of god watch what he does this year grace can multiply grace can multiply and let me tell you something when grace multiplies it has a physical effect there is an evidence 
there's no such thing as grace multiplying and you are the only one who knows no when grace multiplies everything around you responds to the effect of that multiplication grace can multiply grace can multiply that's why you can see a man and track his life and know that grace has multiplied you can see a man of god and see the dispensing of the grace of god upon his life and you can study the track record of that growth you can know that a man started at this level but at this current level he's functioning at an altitude in the spirit that was not what he just like you can know that a man has backslidden you can know that a man was functioning at this dimension of grace but right now he is still functioning but you know that there has been a lag in the operation of the spirit grace and peace be multiplied the energy of god the ability of the spirit the power of the holy ghost that can be resident within a man compelling results he said it can multiply everything that is alive grows if the power of god is alive it can grow in a man hallelujah the healing anointing can multiply the wisdom of god can multiply the grace for finances can multiply access to deep realities in the spirit can multiply the eyes to see and the ears to hear can multiply and this is the season god intends to multiply everything every operation of the spirit you have seen hallelujah influence is the ability the ability to compel the ideology of a man the ideology of a people the ideology of a territory the ability to compel the ideology of a territory to bend towards a particular direction without using human force and cruelty is called influence if i'm able to do something to you that compels you to adjust to my paradigm of thinking that's an influence i like the 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 uh, um, the um, poster that was created by the media department you see that match the, the matches one having the fire and all he needs to do is go close enough he will compel all the rest to catch that fire we call that influence the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies to institutionalize your ideology such that even those who do not agree with you will be compelled to walk in that reality this is what influence is the bible says it was noised abroad that jesus was in town and all kinds of people found themselves around those who didn't like him those who were critics those who were indifferent those who were passionately loyal for reasons they could not explain they found themselves the bible says he went up the mountain they still followed him that's influence listen the key to kingdom advancement is not just evangelism as we know the key to kingdom advancement is influence the ability to bring a territory under like a spell you bring a territory under an understanding you compel people to think in a certain way you compel the economy of a territory to operate in a certain trajectory it's called influence did you know that there is a level of influence you can exert on a territory such that even those who do not believe in god will be forced to adopt certain languages in their english because that becomes the language of communication it's called influence once upon a time there were no networks in nigeria not one aside from nitel but a communications company came and marketed a proposal and right now it has become an addiction people literally cry when their phones get missing and they are on their way to go and do welcome back 
they, they have they have influenced you so much they created a package called welcome back in other words when you run away i create a provision to come under my spell now that's influence there are people in the village who cannot spell jesus but they know coca-cola influence every tribe in the world knows coca-cola the name is coca-cola no tribe calls anything by their own it's called coca-cola the three most influential names brands right in the world although it's been upgraded now number one is jesus number two michael jackson before he died number three coca-cola think about that right now the most influential brand in the world is google apple followed by google the kingdom of god will have to ascend in such a way and a manner that it will no longer just be one-on-one -on -one evangelism the territory forces people all roads must lead to the cross all roads no matter how people try to do it we come to a point where our thoughts become that which is aligned to the kingdom the songs become that which is aligned to the kingdom if they must crack any joke it must have a paradigm with the kingdom you won't do see the difference between the holy spirit and saddam hussein is this both of them try to exert influence but one brings his influence with physical threats are we together but the holy ghost reveals to you the excellency of his way are you getting the point now he shows you the all-surpassing superiority of working with him there is a level give us micah chapter 4 please one and two and then i begin to explain to us very quickly the things that the lord has put in my heart micah chapter 4 one and two it's a scripture that speaks powerfully about the prophetic state of the church can we read it together one to read but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills it says and people shall what flow to it listen he never said they will call the people look at this he never said they will call the people something will happen upon that mountain that will force people literally it's a compelling power they will flow to it he says and how many nations please help me how many nations it says and many nations shall come and say come let us go where will the evangelism happen among themselves an ability will make them to start drawing themselves and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob he says and he will what teach us he will change our mindsets he will adjust our ideologies he says and we will walk in his path for the lord shall go forth from zion and the word of the lord from jerusalem this is what will happen let me tell you the church is not a weakling there is an energy and the ability of the ecclesia god's very church we will arise in a mighty way and shock creation the key is not to take the world i see a lot of people dreaming and say i'm going to take every world i tell them that's not how when god says you will take over the earth the key is to create a prototype of your agenda in a territory that's the key the kingdom always spreads like a seed there are people who have not done well where god where they are domiciled and they are thinking of no 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 the key is to plant a prototype of your ideology and that becomes the platform the template from which you will influence other territories you must jesus christ came to israel jerusalem created a prototype of his life and then compelled certain people called the sent ones and began to send them through regions so everywhere they went they were envoys of those ideologies backed up by the government that sent them this is the key to strategic kingdom advancement let me tell you something it's not just by traveling planting a church in london uk there's a time and a place for that 
but the greatest key to maximum influence is to be able to represent the ideology of a, of the christ so strategically in a region that every other region can look at it as a template that's how hillsong spread abroad they stood in australia and did something so striking this year zaria will be a place of pilgrimage i tell you you will see week after the same way you go to jerusalem write this down you will see people trooping in just waiting because it is the mountain of the lord the place where god has chosen to build his habitation it's an election of grace Are we together? Isaiah chapter 60. Let's start from verse 1, but my focus is 3. Isaiah 60. Arise, he says, shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you verse 2 for behold darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people it says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen listen listen let me tell you something don't ever let anything you read on the newspaper scare you this year god has shown me this year it's a glorious year for the church write it down believe me i'm telling you it's it's not a it, it has never been a thing of confusion about the drop in oil price and all of these things this is something we said years ago and we're insulted for it but let me tell you you will see the glory of the church emerge see satan moves by ministering fear fear is a spirit are we together now and the bible tells us that as a man thinketh so he is and so the media while in a in, in a state of sincerity to address what they call the state of the nation have gone to market an ideology that makes people think oh this year i don't know about you but this year is a year for me of multiplied grace and influence the bible says when you see darkness start rejoicing it's a sign there will be a separation this year like egypt and goshen that on one side there was darkness but then on another side they were not even aware of what was happening ah don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy he said when men say that means you are not men when men say there is a casting down those who have been altered by ability of the spirit will say there is a lifting up i refuse to make any declaration that is against the word of god no government no newspaper will deceive me into agreeing with the agenda of darkness for behold the darkness shall cover the earth listen it says and cross darkness the people but upon but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you oh hallelujah let's read verse 3 this is my scripture goodness it says and gentiles shall what stop he didn't say i will go and call them Makatala Bakosotaya. something will happen upon my life this year the wisdom of the spirit the multiplication of his grace he says it will compel gentiles they will come by themselves gentiles will come not to you to your light something you carry will compel attention it has nothing to do with whether they like you or not there is a level of prosperity you can enter there is a level of the anointing access to the dimensions of the spirit it will compel nations to come and then it gets better it says and their kings those that represent governments those that represent mountains it says their kings will come your light will start rising listen was it not in your bible when solomon's glory started rising every other person came but the queen of sheba refused to come she had her pride but that light was so bright the queen of sheba had to take gifts and come and say who is this solomon listen 
the Bible says when she came to Solomon she saw the arrangement of his table and saw everything she said half of what was told me he said I was not told half of what I'm seeing now he said when she saw everything there was no spirit in her it's God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me it's God's ability God's ability is working in me it's God's ability it's God's ability it is God's ability It's working in me It's working in me Hallelujah Please sit down mm, We are believers in this place We are believers in this place Listen This is the year you must take God seriously when God speaks, he's not your lecturer. He's not suggesting. When God speaks, he's not your boss in office. When God speaks, he looks at himself first, whether he can defend what he's about to say, and then he will say it. He speaks on the strength of his might. Have you not read that God looked in heaven to find who was greater than him? Because he wanted to make a dangerous statement that he could not lie. So he was looking for a witness that was greater than him. And not finding any he swore by himself what is our expectation in this season some of these things i'm going to be reading out were the exact words of the lord as it came to me the lord told me that in this season he will be granting us supernatural access to the following please write supernatural access to number one revelations there will be a depth of revelation we will break into a spiritual fountain of revelation hallelujah and this is the scripture of the lord in fact it, it was before the scripture came it was an impression upon my heart and the bible tells us remember in scripture listen please remember in scripture when the Bible says two men at a place called Emmaus. They were walking and Jesus was with them. But they did not know he was the one. That the word is near you does not mean you understand it. That you are reading it. They were with Jesus. The Christ. The living word. The resurrected Christ. He was walking with them but they did not know he was the one. Listen. Many people just carry Bible and think they are growing spiritually others think because they are looking at it they convince themselves that they are growing others have memory verses and crime verses which is not bad but they think because of it is a sign that they are growing and the bible says when they were at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open listen this is the year god will give us access to light light illumination illumination he says you will arise and shine for your light is come not because you are tired of sitting down there is a light that god will give you that will drive out certain darkness in your life forever forever he will give us access to anointings there are graces there are abilities of the spirit brothers and sisters please hear me there is nobody who is doing great things for god who does it by the strength of the flesh no no there is an anointing that is responsible for every result you see in the kingdom there is an anointing it's not about struggling there is a grace your own labor is to enter that dimension but once you are there you are there are we together there is a level of grace that god wants to multiply in your life not just please personalize this thing i'm taking out time to teach it because i want you to believe it you must believe that in my life there is a level of grace there is a level of the anointing the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference 
it doesn't make the difference the anointing is the difference a handkerchief with the anointing upon all of a sudden becomes supernatural a donkey with an anointing upon it all of a sudden becomes a prophet oh come on the anointing is never trivialize the anointing and the effect of it in your life there are doors only certain kinds of graces can open are we together we must believe God to multiply anointings in our lives God will give us access to people very important God will give us access to resources God will give us access to opportunities to the end that we will birth greater levels of salvation encounters transformation and revival he will supply all these things to the end that will be able to birth through the spirit greater levels of salvation greater levels of encounters greater levels of transformation greater levels of revivals there's an army rising up there's an army rising up in this very season there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain they will break every chain break every chain please write it down quickly there are five areas that i want us to focus on this year please listen five areas very quickly for us to maximize the prophetic word that the lord has given there are five areas that the lord would want us to focus and pay attention number one on our spiritual growth the first area of focus that you must contend in the spirit that there must be multiplication of grace is on your spiritual growth please listen this year there will be multiplied grace for notable spiritual progress are, are you listening to me that you can look by december and know that you 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 enter a dimension in the spirit there must be notable spiritual growth in your life this year please make sure you write it down god is releasing grace for notable spiritual growth You must increase your passion for God. I'm teaching you how to maximize the demands on your own path. You must, you must take advantage of this grace and increase your passion for God. Increase your passion for the things of God. And increase your passion for the house of God. This is not the year where you miss Koinonia anyhow for reasons say there was rain all oh, my clothes there was no iron to i no 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 there must be a desperation for god a desperation for the things of god a desperation for the house of god it was david that said i'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house have you read that scripture that he so passionately loved the house of god listen the foundation of the quality experience of the prophetic word of the lord this year is hinged upon your increased passion for god god told me something and i'm going to say it exactly as he said this is what he said he said tell my people to give me time and take me seriously i wrote it down tell my people to give me time god is asking for time this year listen because all you have in your life is time whoever you give your time to you have given your life to so don't say you have given your life to god and not give him time this is not the year of miserly time you 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 sleep for 10 hours use 10 hours watching films which is all right but this is the year you must invest in his presence invest in his presence like a business 
and see the returns that comes for you increase passion for God your passion must increase for spiritual activities prayer and fasting the study of the word this is not the year for laziness is God speaking to us your prayer life must jack back if 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 you know your prayer life is dying please don't let anybody deceive you there is trouble are we together if anything that attacks your prayer life in 2016 is the greatest attack from the kingdom of darkness men ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint prayer is the place where people generate strength and capacity you can know when a man has the absence of prayer there is nothing that can replace the energy that prayer brings please give God time tell your neighbor give God time this year talk to him talk to him seriously give God time it's a strong admonition say give God time in 2016 don't be busy looking for money running around looking for money looking for job thank god for those things there is a place for them but brothers and sisters i call you to a place where you will hit the jackpot for this year invest in his presence the presence of god will give you what money will never give you i know we used to nod when i said but many of us don't believe it his presence prayer and fasting don't eat away your destiny this year prayer and fasting quality fasting done with revelation not compulsion to prove to people no 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 don't allow religion to destroy you this year but you must pray brothers and sisters maximize your night time i've taught you this thing it's just that many you see ba many of us don't take seriously the word of the lord that comes if you are obedient to the truth of god's words you'll be amazed to see the results in your life maximize your night times i have learned this is a mystery of tremendous spiritual power the bible says and the evening came and the morning he never mentioned morning before evening there is a mystery of the night time you are alone with worship even if it's for 30 minutes people are snoring around and you are praying lord i establish realities i command my morning i decree and declare it's my year of supernatural influence it's my year of multiplied grace and you are speaking and inspiration is coming and you are writing you soak yourself in worship you create like a spiritual magnetic field you get up in the morning and you are compelling things that people cannot understand do you not know that the morning is like a woman that has a womb go and read your bible it was a prophet that let us know that things can be planted in the womb of the morning he gives the morning the character of a woman and just like a man plants a seed in the womb of his wife and expects her to deliver the delivery time is your daytime the night is when you impregnate your day with prophecy and allow it to deliver to you realities many people let me tell you the engine room of real power is to pray your secret place especially night prayers and you walk in the morning and you encounter miracles and breakthroughs he told job has thou commanded thy morning not has thou commanded thy night hallelujah This year, you must invest in quality teaching and materials. Please. Get all the koinonia messages you can. Some of us pride ourselves around distributing koinonia messages to people, which is very good, but never listen to it ourselves. You carry it around and you are happy to be a, a, an, a, an evangelist. You are distributing it around. Ah, you mean you know Apostle? Ah, ah Apostle, I can't even call him now. You are busy marketing which is okay but you are dying 
don't forget the bible says let it not be that i haven't preached i myself god knows how many times i sit down and soak in koinonia messages i'm blasting in tongues and listening to them and where apostle joshua selman is prophesying i get down on my knees and i'm receiving it for my life please take your destiny seriously there is a message for everything every major thing you are looking for you find out that the flesh is growing in you there is a message locate one flog yourself back to alignment you are dying spiritually find a message you are having one a get miracle service message and fast forward it to the place where prophecy started and see please engage the word this year tell your neighbor engage the word do it engage the word the same way you engage a man in a conversation put pressure on the world to produce results for you don't sit down and say oh, if god wants it to work i've been doing it no you are not work it work it work out your salvation with fear and trembling so your spiritual life i'm determined this year that my spiritual life will enter a dimension that has never been god has shown me the possibilities he can go with me if i'm if i'm interested and he asked me whether i'm interested what do you think my answer is my goodness lead me lord i will follow lead me lord i will go you have called me and i will answer leave me lord i will go god is calling us to a higher level never be satisfied with where you are are you hearing what i'm saying please write it down write it i refuse to be satisfied with where i am I know you've seen some results in your spiritual life you've seen the prophetic grace you've seen uh, an anointing you've seen some level of result but it's child's play compared to where god wants to take you if you are interested and you stay through with god he will surprise you this year james chapter 4 verse 8 says that when we draw near to him he says he will draw near to us when you draw near to him you must take that step with expectation the second area of focus this year for us to maximize this prophetic word is the area of mental transformation mental transformation romans chapter 12 verse 2 listen listen i've taught us again and again that the quality of a man's life is at the mercy of his ideology this year i want us to insist that we are going to lay aside every stumbling block we've held on to that is stopping us please those outside i hope we're listening can you shout hallelujah those outside praise the lord make sure that you pay the price take advantage of the grace of god and contend for transformation the bible says and be not conformed to this world the greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age be not conformed it says refuse it reject it reject their way of talking reject their behavior reject their way of responding to life it's a choice it says be not conformed to this world then it says but be ye transformed right transform how by the renewing of your mind that's what the bible says that we are transformed not by wishing by the renewing of our minds focus on sustaining a renewed and transformed mind focus don't say it's like that everybody in your family that poverty mindset must die a natural death this year you must reject it let them hate you no problem reject it don't 
let people carry their failure and bring it upon you as an impartation don't let anybody tell you financial prosperity is not important don't let anybody tell you doing well in your life is not important you never replace one dimension of kingdom progress for another you can know god and still be poor are we together you can be praying in tongues and still be a bad husband there must be balance that's the true church that is shown to us in revelations 19. you can listen to my message the full gospel i've always frowned at the exaggeration of the body of christ emphasizing one truth to the detriment of another so i'm teaching you on spiritual growth and forgetting the fact that you have children to feed you have school fees to pay no god is not that kind of god there must be a balance he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth no exaggeration that's the true church i will never be the preacher who will mislead you to emphasize one area of spiritual growth at the detriment of another you will get balance so that it is okay to serve god and be rich are we together it is okay to serve god and be a ceo and lead we keep preaching all these um religious messages in church that move people closer to god and draw them away from the world and then we become victims of the decisions of those who control these mountains but in this season we reject it we are going like daniels with the anointing of the spirit but we will still enter the system the great commission was going into the world not carry a truck to the streets that's all right but it said enter the system go ye into cosmos and influence it with an ideology that's the gospel but you can never rise above and beyond a transformed mind please believe me when i tell you your level of right, life right now is what your mindset has produced for you this is uncomfortably true you must believe it there is something about your understanding that is keeping you where you are from entitlement mentality that makes us believe it is government that should pay us right to those who believe that all they need to succeed in life is to get a job is that really true a job is wonderful i pray for you at the end of the service i'll pray for you but let me tell you a job cannot fund your assignment you know that right a job cannot build a house for you a job can only help you to barely survive exactly what satan wants barely survive so that you never hear god you never sow seeds you never give you are so busy making money you don't have time for the agenda of god i reject that kind of living in the name of jesus christ mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man oh god i'm i'm i'm, I'm strange to this kind of experience but god said the power of the highest that's how it will happen so don't sit down wondering will god really change my story will god really wipe my tears are you kidding you've forgotten the god who can change people he said by this time tomorrow listen i believe god oh i told you in this year make sure you insist on being a believer that i receive the word of god don't let the enemy come and steal the seed which is the word of god in january we can all believe two weeks after now you find a lot of people frowning at their convictions as though they were playing games in church mental transformation you must lay down wrong and limiting ideologies lay them down ideologies that let you think that you cannot be a leader where you are ideologies that train you to do things that are not consistent with the ways of god is devilish and you must lay it down my father is wicked it's not only your father many fathers have been wicked but people triumph through that wickedness are we together nobody likes me you are not alone you are never alone you are plenty that people don't like you have to stop giving excuses tell your neighbor say stop giving excuses stop explaining why you should not move forward there are so many people they will explain to you if only i had space i had a room to myself my prayer life would be back now that you don't have what will you do with the one that is there you must create a strategy 
I would have fasted, but the truth is, the way my nutrition is, I'm not even sure. It's not like I have, I understand the program. It's just as it comes. No, those things are flimsy excuses. Take away those limiting mindsets. I live a very supernatural life. I don't see impossibility in my life. And I don't say it just as a, a, a way of motivation. I really do. I don't see impossibilities in my life. I'm only limited by the voice of the Spirit. The Bible said, can two walk together except they be agree? You and the Holy Spirit cannot walk together if you don't agree with Him. God is telling you, this is what I open up before you. Are you willing? And you say, Holy Spirit, it's just because you didn't grow up in my family. Uh, hey. Lay your hands on your head and pray for one minute and say lord everything that is resident in my mind that is not of you must give way please pray please pray for as he thinketh in his heart so he is please pray pray out every limiting belief oh i believe god for anything he can take me anywhere he can lift me from the dunghill. This I believe. He can crown me with honor and glory. This I believe. He can bring an anointing in my life. I refuse to let my background limit me. I refuse to let the awareness of where I come from and what has happened in my life limit me those outside are you praying lay your hands on your head i reject it every negative mindset tying down my life every negative mindset tying down my business every negative mindset tying down my education are you praying this is the year i call the devil a liar i reject him i reject him I reject that word it's a choice i choose to believe god i choose to believe god hallelujah don't ever sit back and allow the devil destroy you listen everything you see did not just happen by mistake it takes a man to see what others are not seeing to go where others will not go this is the year don't let people talk you down and lie to you it will take your faith you must believe believe in god and commit yourself don't be afraid of making mistakes are you hearing what i'm saying don't be afraid of making mistakes don't live in this this carefree world where everybody say take it easy and they kill you god is inspiring you to start up a business that can bail your family and people are saying take it easy you know the way nigeria is well please let me tell you something if you if you talk and live like them you will die like them are we together somebody looks at you as a student and says you are on 1.5 are you aware of that yet every time you sleep you see god doing great things in your life how shall these things be this is the year to believe and one way to believe is to run away from all those naysayers there are people who are negative by default they are your enemies this year make sure you run away from them intentionally you say why are you running away from us it's like you are running it's not like i am running i'm leaving you i intend to grow listen listen all this loyalty to people who will destroy your life we were childhood friends so what i intend to grow any man that is not seeing what i'm seeing should not be working with me are we together come let me use you for instance okay you are your cameraman come watch this John, all right move forward let's all move forward go go, go forward look at this 
his forward is not my forward are we together we are all attempting to move forward it just so happens that for some reason he is unwilling to bend to my direction i'm not your enemy i'm just not going where you are going i'm not saying where you are going is wrong i'm just saying it's not my address are we together please this is the year you must sustain courage to look at people and say no I, i'm not a musician i'm not against your music ministry but god didn't call me to sing please don't force me to do rehearsal when i'm sleeping i'm a businessman i love your music may god anoint you i will encourage you when i make the money i will support your album but for now let me focus listen listen i know we are laughing you think i'm playing this came out of the secret place days of intense fasting with full concentration not laughing around it's amazing how many people never make it because of distraction you're on your way going to do something you are there singing and god is saying i already prepared people see when you are not in your assigned place you will always feel secondary you will fight everybody there and not find a space for yourself you now get up and say i'm into logistics you want to be like aaron it's not working later you say i think i like her look settle down this year re-edit your mind and find where god has placed you and died there tell yourself if it's to die i will die there stop escorting men visionlessly even as a pastor this is the year to know exactly what god told you your assignment is not the great commission are we together the great commission is for everybody settle and find what is the grace what anointing god what did you tell me oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 sing it unto the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. You must lay aside still on point two let's hurry up lay aside wrong behavioral traits we are still on that point two mental transformation first peter 2 verse 1 please give it to us quickly first peter 2 verse 1 anger envy pride bitterness dishonor all these traits that have kept you down this is the year you make up your mind i'm not gossiping about people because i found out everybody i'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone this year i want to move forward at least let somebody talk about me the bible says wherefore doing what laying aside laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what evil speaking there are some people when you sit down close to them five minutes your spirit is down because they, they have what we call evil speakings always bad news always what someone said no you must change you must change anger you must lay it aside this year god open a door your anger closed it god open a door your anger closed it your husband was coming your anger drove him your wife was almost arriving your anger sent her away this year make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny there are people who do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs but this anger rage that's how we are in our family I ask my mother we're all like that when we are angry just stay away please i want you to maximize this multiplied grace the one you had last year it has increased now so there's no excuse maximize the grace and say no to anger because it will destroy you envy envy you never do anything with your life you watch people have results and you are looking for what they do let me tell you something about envy it never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious it's, it's such a frustrating venture it doesn't touch the bear even if it at least let it touch it it's better to fight directly fighting 
you sit down and tie yourself down and then the unfortunate thing is the bible says the part of the justice has a shining light so for how long will you hold it envy pride this year as a family of faith and as individuals we must run away from pride brothers and sisters pride is a killer are we together believing you can make it without god looking down on others pushing people down to show you are successful no lay it down bitterness there are people who just say i'm not happy why say this world is a sad world hey you have a long journey a long journey to go say i'm just sad why is everywhere like this the place is moody and the devil says this is exactly what i'm looking for this year I choose to be joyful the bible says, rejoice always it didn't say rejoice when you have money rejoice always and in case you forget again i say rejoice number three the third area the lord wants us to focus on is our health first corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20 we don't have the time to read it our health the bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the lord jesus christ right everyone say it say my body is the temple of the holy spirit say one more time my body is the temple of the holy spirit listen it honors god for you to take care of your body are we together this year the way you punished your body in 2015 you have to rethink this year are we together it's very important you must live a healthy and a balanced life no laziness and no overstressing yourself that's the balance there are those who are sluggish and lazy spiritually it flows down intellectually it now culminates physically inertia for everything it takes you two days to do what five minutes can do laziness is still an insult to the body and then overstressing yourself hallelujah when you read about the wealth revival you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth revival was not necessarily any demonic attack he literally stretched himself to death no matter how busy you are i believe that if i'm not mistaken i probably will may be one of the busiest people among us here but you must still create time to rest you may not have quantity of time but you must have quality eat well god is faithful please eat well this year don't punish yourself you need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say if i add this no what if you don't add it and you die see you, you think intelligently this year please please we are at different levels but pay serious attention to your health when you really fall sick you will find out that all you have is time and your life are we together you can have all the money in this world if you play with your health MOG all the men of God here listen please find time to rest walk your life out but rest when you preach they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching are we together i shared with you my story when the lord delivered me and showed me told me to look at the crucifix and for the first time i realized i did not die for the world no my name is not jesus my name is joshua selman the hebrew joshua means jehoshua yes jesus but i am not jesus of nazareth my father was not a carpenter and so i realized that i am an ambassador not the christ so you must rest one of the most comforting scriptures for me because everything once there's no scriptural backing i don't believe it it says and god rested come on now not an angels and god whether you call it sleeping or season from work i know that at that period he didn't do anything do it he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus it's not just the mind to walk 
is the mind to rest how many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them honestly there's nothing wrong they say look i know what i'm the one feeling what is wrong they say there's nothing we've checked just rest and they go back and rest and they get up strong sleep is a mystery are you hearing what i'm saying sleep is a mystery god used it to do a lot of things you can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshipped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels if sleep will give me an encounter i will sleep because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep it will rest well your personal hygiene that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much there i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three quarter bucket somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out <laughs> my brother you didn't bath I, I assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are dear it he said you are i can still warm it if it has spoiled let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties for nothing <laughs> hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly deuteronomy 29 verse 9 i'd like us to read everyone please one to read What's the condition? He said, keep. Keep therefore. Keep these words of this covenant. And he said, do them. He didn't just say, keep them in your jot and leave them there. He said, do them. Practice them in truth. He says that you must prosper. Write the following to guide us through our finances. Number one, set clear financial goals. Set clear financial goals this year and walk with the holy spirit to achieve them i want to be rich is a mirage you you'll never get blessed that way i want to be rich will never get you rich listen there is a mystery about writing and clarity the bible says, write the vision then it says make it plain what is your financial target don't, don't write foolish childish things i need one bill no 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 start gradually faith is not stupidity start gradually write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level don't say how will it come leave that that's not your business you get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come the bible says just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child nor the way of the wind you don't know how the wind comes you don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child is that not a mystery 
that a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months that seed becomes bones hard bones becomes teeth that can stay for for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave that's a mystery he said that one leave it to god your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating up the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get these teachings sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of abraham and did what he spoke the blessing over him and the bible says christ today is our melchizedek what was the office of melchizedek what was the function he received tight and prophesied on the givers so jesus in that office of melchizedek receives your tithe and releases activates the blessing and i told you what the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits i don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation remember i taught us in james i think 226 or so he says for as the body without the spirit anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work that business without the spirit will die your family without the spirit will die he said for the body without the spirit is dead so you must pay attention to practicing these laws 
when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me Benga, the lord led me to show you ten thousand another person said ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people apostle sir are you around i have a little gift for you someone brought hamper someone brought this and i said this thing works it's not about announcing oh, 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 oh. on your head in one minute and prophesy and say i'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray i sensed an anointing that's why i was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy it's a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying i will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do i'm about to arise god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity hallelujah psalm 112 please very quickly psalm 112 psalm 112 four areas i want you to focus on under finances one is your tithing please be determined this year that you are going to be serious discipline yourself don't think it's a gimmick by men of god don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around castigating men of god yes i know that there are people who are driven whose god is their belly but please the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together don't stand the bible says blessed is the man who does not walk in the the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful he said but his delight is in the law of the lord he said praise ye the lord blessed is the man that fears the lord that delights greatly in his commands verse 2 let's hurry up media help us his seed shall be mighty that's influence upon the earth he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed verse 3 
I'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life. One to go. It says, Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Like the ark of God came upon the house of Obed Edom and he began to prosper within three months open Adam's life changed just because the ark came upon his house your worship offerings don't come to the house of God empty handed see let me tell you let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering because you are not a sower the Bible says God gives seed to the sower If you say, oh God, please, I don't want to come to your house just like that. Believe me, God gives seed to the sower. But you think when you hold that money, you are coming to give a man of God to enrich the man. No, I've told you, any man that truly fears God does not live off the resources of his members. He lives off his obedience to kingdom principles. It's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you. You are tied to their mood swings. The day they are ready to bless you. No. Let me trust God for myself. And believe in him as Jehovah Jireh. Your seeds of honor. I've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards. Look at me. When you sow downwards, you walk in divine health. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't sow downward to step into prosperity. You sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity. But when you want to step into a level, you sow upwards. You must learn this. Don't sow carelessly. Don't just look around. You are not a habalist. Say, go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change. Please, we are not practicing shamanism. This is Christianity. Are we together? You must learn God's principles. Seeds of honor find people that carry graces and levels that you desire so in, we call it sowing into an anointing you are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility learn this learn this learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level you must practice this consistently this year finally kingdom building i call it kingdom investment bishop oyedepo used to shout this and say it with all his heart kenneth copeland would shout this again listen i'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how god will step into your life how god will step into your life kingdom building is to find a need in the house of god and participate actively in meeting that need i want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself find needs in the body of christ work as your departments someone can sit down and say ah koinonia needs a work clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not joshua selman and you commit and God is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increases he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat I want to ask you a question did the body of Christ benefit from your resources last year that, that may explain why you are where you are financially may God never give me any money that his house will not benefit in I say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of God cannot benefit in is a cost to me I'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while I'm excited God says uh -uh, this seed is for the house of God quietly with Jesus joy not grudgingly saying God said you God is faithful was it yesterday or day before yesterday I was rejoicing 
someone sent the seed into my account i was smiling and the lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry god you are faithful you won't destroy me if i die i die in your hands let your finances be so flexible like dr mike mudok who said that god can do business with you i was discussing with a prof last year one one of our daddies in area a and he spoke to me he said son tell the lord you want to be his treasurer ah, that's that statement resonated in my head that man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with god from childhood and how god had been faithful in his life and in his old age he said ask the lord that he should make you his treasurer do you know what it means for god to make you his treasurer oh god make me your treasurer in 2016 can god trust you with heaven's resources do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands it's my own it's my money i worked for it it's my sweat no but thou shall remember the lord your god because you can forget thou shall remember the lord your god he said for it is he that giveth thee power please give your way out of poverty this year sow your way out of poverty this year number five this is the last one and will pray relationships I want you to pay attention to this especially those outside please pay very close attention to what I'm saying I want you to invest this year invest in godly and healthy relationships do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us we don't have helpers in our lives there's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity there are people who don't have money but they never lack there is always someone they can cry to they are not somebody who remembers them in the days of pain listen money is not everything are you hearing what i'm saying believe me money is very important but money is not everything educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two I'm sure maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him i'm a big man i'm this and that no you must learn to relate with people. hallelujah ada is here many of you may not know him they were part of what aaron calls first second generation ENI. that's him there he came around this guy used to wash my clothes cook for me he did this almost every day that was his work oh. believe me when i tell you this it was marriage until he got married and he left do you think i'll ever forget him i would drop my last penny to see that he smiles it's called blessed by association how many of you remember that teaching he and i those days blessed by association i taught on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect the bible says god told abraham to go out. he said and lot went with him just by going with abraham he was implicated be blessed it's called blessed by association 
who do you know today that can speak for you in high places don't say it does not matter i learned this from my dad my dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships he knows almost everybody somewhere if it's military there must be a soldier that is his friend police there must be somebody that's a powerful life they take you to police station there's somebody who can advocate for you not to leave you to die there you are going to the court there is somebody who can speak for you i pray for you may god raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you listen we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us there's a business proposal there are five of you having it you have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships somebody you used to know who can now speak for you you are anointed but you ignored it because we pastors told you it's not important just pray and serve god no connect with people you don't connect with people because they are perfect connect with them now before it becomes every day makes it more expensive to connect connect and have a testimony that you drank gary together right and you will be able to partake of their bounty destiny help us you must look for these people and pray them into your life remember the bible talk, it talks to us about naman we talk a lot about naman but we forget the little maid who encouraged him you know it was a little slave girl she said there is a prophet please talk to the king to allow you she persuaded him and he went to elisha elisha said go and bath and he was angry he said are there no other beautiful pools and the lady begged him when she pleaded with him he went to bath and his destiny changed connect with people don't ignore people this year and say this one cannot speak english we are the committee of beautiful girls we are the committee of of those who have we want we are the handsome guys we are the ones who are this we are the ones who are intelligent we are the ones who work in banks we are the business moguls that spirit cast it out this year in the mighty name of jesus christ learn to connect with people you don't know who is who this world is a very small world very very small world i've gone to places and i've been amazed at people who i used to know and how they have been of tremendous help You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you when my international passport expired one of our he's a general he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees he went to you know just with his influence i mean this is a general now this man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform and i came up people thought i was a general son i was just smiling <laughs> oh this year may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it it mustn't always be your own you can smile your way through relationships and they say yes you are just a parasite no problem at least i'm moving forward and he went there when the woman saw the way he was running around he just told me sit down i was embarrassed frankly he was running around doing everything and um, within 30 minutes my passport was uh, was ready something they anyway follow the protocol life is in stages don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you but the point is the woman looked at him and i prayed with her then i think it was last year or year before last we went to minister in uh, the nigerian immigration the, the immigration service in, in abuja their chapel we now went to minister there and after i was done i was greeting the people guess who i saw that madam she had been shifted i looked at her and i said ah, mommy how are you she was greeting me she said, oh i knew there was something about you and i connected i greeted her so well so that if my passport expires again <laughs> learn how to maintain relationships see listen please we're we are, we are praying now i'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top there are people who don't have money but they will never cry you won't see their tears there is always somebody there is always somebody hallelujah what has been your outlook about relationships
people in the world know how to keep this relationship have you seen somebody go to drink no money yet he goes to the beer parlor even invites and wife up is it not this joint immediately he enters how oh, galaki are you there now and sits down give him 10 minutes somebody he knows will come in and he said bros no deal no day and they just say abba serve him and he would drink and argue about football and argue about everything add pepper soup to it belt and go back home no money but he had a capital called relationships hold the hands of your neighbor i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you i need you to say it again one more time i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you i need you to survive may your life never be such that you will go in the midst of people who you used to know but there is nobody to help you may that never be your testimony in jesus name please invest in healthy relationships i'm telling you this invest in people are the conduits for miracles somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears it's amazing to see how close to are how close you are to your miracle if you can just know who leads you there learn how to walk and live with people that's the second point under relationships hold on mike just pause i want everybody to listen to what i want to say learn how to live and walk with people the bible says he who wants friends must first show himself friendly please you must learn how to live with people many of us are christians but we don't know how to live with people let me tell you what we want a friend is not somebody who is you are you hearing what i'm saying a friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies but it cannot be you there are many of us the only person who can relate with you is another you unfortunately it doesn't exist that you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes it doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves there are many of us the lifespan of our friendship is three days you must fight with somebody and it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack it's just wisdom you don't understand expect disappointment from friends i don't say expect it in a negative way i'm saying make room for it incorporate it as part expect betrayal expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens god can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel if you know how to look beyond the flaws of men you will find treasures in them that will change your life i don't like this lady she's a jealous lady but she's intelligent and you need her intelligence why don't you ignore the jealousy are we together i don't like this man he's arrogant but he's anointed why don't you quietly let it ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go I don't like this woman she's too pompous but she has access to those you need please learn how to work with people i've taught us here but let me repeat for those who have come the highest psychological need of any man this is the key to friendship the lord taught me this the highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved to feel valued and to feel appreciated never forget this leaders incorporate this as you work with people pastors incorporate this the extent to which comes sam the extent to which i make sam feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends are we together that does not mean i cannot rebuke him that does not mean i cannot talk to him but that he knows fundamentally that even when i rebuke him i love him truly from my heart thank you sam are we together learn to make people feel comfortable around you don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you you are not a member of this church so don't come near me we are the group of this no we are not a member of this your belief is this you are from which church i don't believe in your pastor okay believe in the person relationships are 
relationships god taught me this i have seen it in my life there are few things i pay for in my life i am telling you this and it's not because i'm a man of god there are few things those who walk close to me know there are few things i pay for in this life there is always somebody somewhere and it's just a call away do you know how you can help people influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms platforms there are places i minister today i never i never would be able to minister but on the strength of healthy relationships there are people god has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well i mean die they will give their lives literally to see me do well do you have such people in your life if you don't have it you are poor if you don't have it you are poor invest in god don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad and you are moving around and looking at, no 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 the person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined and let me tell you something you can change the future but you cannot change history people have memories like elephants you do something wrong after 10 years they will haunt you they don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to christ they just say and see this stupid girl i remember her in Zion. she's not the one she's the one and you are coming you are born again you are even a pastor now or a pastor's wife but carelessness of the past will haunt you and you will have to start explaining yourself no i've changed i know i was bad before use the opportunity now little things like fighting over seats to insulting people gossiping about people god is watching your destiny too is watching you must make sure you are friends to people everywhere i go i try to make the people feel honored i greet them have you learned something tonight relationships you want to see multiplied grace let there be multiplied relationships godly relationships you have to honor people you get up in the morning you greet your roommates good morning don't get up and say see if not for condition i won't be in this state you are not my mate at all you are not even my younger brother see please leave all those things don't use age to intimidate anybody you get up you greet. and you when they greet you you reciprocate you don't sit down and say uh -huh. how are you good morning all this living your life to yourself i cook my food by myself i don't share with anybody i go to the market by myself you will leave destiny by yourself and that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people you can have all the money but no access over three people called me today three people called me today to send names for jobs i don't need it three people i'm, I'm serious three people called me today and said ah there's there are some federal government jobs that are opening do you have a few people i said ah yes so i have people i said okay this one will give you one slot this one hurry up and do this it's called influence it's called influence that's what politicians do one letter can wipe your tears this is how miracles happen i'm teaching you wisdom you see me dwelling on this point because many of us have ignored relationships ignored relationships there are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places they come here and i see them i mark their face sometimes when i go around their regions to minister as people are trying to see me I, I look at their face and i say i remember are you not the one that did this bought me what they say yes sir and i say no 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 let this guy come follow us to our hotel room access i see him looking at his friends i paid the price i came and now i have to go may god give you influence this year yeah. access to people quality people in the name of jesus christ yeah. hallelujah the name of jesus christ access to people what you are looking for is in the hand of somebody don't look for that thing look for a relationship with him you will have access to it does a wife a, a good husband and a good wife does the wife really have to say sorry do i have a share in your inheritance all she did was what he got married to her and he also partakes of it stop looking for people's money look for relationships 
that's why many of us never get blessed you come to a rich man and you are eyeing you just hear making a call say eh, okay transfer 15 add five to it and you're like ah we are in the right place don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year listen i do my possible best to build relationship with people above money I have met millionaires i have met billionaires god is my witness i've never opened my mouth to say give me one naira not because i may not need it you kill relationships unnecessarily when your motive is revealed to be wrong so pay the price it's not easy but as much as it's within your power focus on relationship not this there are people who come and meet a man of god they don't want relationship they just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if I, you know you almost feel like telling them my brother please stand up and walk away because he would think something came upon him but nothing really happened it's all that sometimes when they disturb you you just do it so they will go but you and god know that nothing really happened relationship elijah had the sons of the prophet but elisha followed him and establish the relationship finally how to walk in the prophetic world there are two laws i want you to never forget number one is the law of encounter it's changed my life i've taught us jeremiah 29 13 he says and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart he says and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful law that has worked in my life encounter is what birth transformation when you encounter god when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you. seek god with all your heart this year be be addicted to his presence don't just do it as a koinonia thing i told you god said tell them to give me time when you give god time he will reveal his glory in your life number two the law of honor this is the key for impartation honor honor let me talk for two minutes on honor hebrews 7 verse 7 says and without contradiction the lesser listen god has already designed his system the lesser is blessed of the greater every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience if you know how to honor your way you will honor your way cheaply into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah i'm a product of many anointings i have mastered the law of honor you must learn this learn this honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace honor your way into people's lives honor your way into their anointings honor the house of god the bible says honor all men it says honor the king when you have that attitude of honor i'm telling you the sky will only be a starting point for you this year i've made up my mind to honor every grace i come across genuinely and truthfully that's why we provide buses it's a symbol of honor we spend a lot there but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor i don't know what graces you carry it's a privilege to be a preacher but it does not mean i am better than you there are people carrying graces here that i probably am praying for 
when I'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination is a seed of honor that will bring impartation it's a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money money is important but the, the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries truly both the person and the office he represents not just office the person and the office hallelujah we are going to pray there are many platforms that are available this year to bless us the koinonia services are there the school of ministry is there the forms will be out immediately during the announcement we will announce it right this night the forms will be out there are many platforms plunge into it don't be half-hearted you will be cheated if you are staying plunge yourself and see what god does in your life please rise up on your feet and let's pray please participate in the prayer because there is a prophecy that i want to release on us lift up your voice and thank the lord for this word supernatural grace multiplied grace multiplied grace multiplied grace lift your voice inside and outside bless the lord almighty the god of the heavens and the earth bless him it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for koinonia by the spirit of the living god Mando protocosco pretecate le pocotto presca de bala da bala da bala da bala da bala Shekata prekata le pocotto da bala da bala Hallelujah Just three prayer points quickly Prayer point number one I'd like you to pray And say Lord I receive your word And I will run with it this year Lift your voice and begin to pray Lord I receive it I receive your word as a believer I receive your word Shaka bakata la poko soto preach Mande kala cross kada bread na kaparia da bash Are you praying koinonia Lord we receive your word Shembre dos koto prakata balara bash But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded I am persuaded that he is able He is able Kapaka pros kata bana da bosh, reka tete koko sho pros ko paria da ba, embre tos ko le pros kata ba, leka tete kata pros ko to bakaria da bana da ba, em pros ko tos ko pres ke le boko to ba, ke pros se ke te ke le ba so to bakaria da bana da ba, em pros ke te le ko to pres ke li ba 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 ba. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia prayer point number two lord make me addicted to your presence this year that i will seek you i will seek your word i will seek prayer i will seek your presence lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray oh lord i seek you this year like never before like never before i seek you with all my heart all my might all my soul pray revival to my prayer life revival to my word study life give me encounter so-called supernatural visitations this year dreams visions encounters with the power of the holy ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit <laughs> Hey, I'm a sinner, 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 I'm a sinner,
Alléluia. Alléluia. Prayer point number three. Lord, this year will be a year of results. I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. There must be proofs in my life. There must be evidences in my life. Miracles, signs, wonders. The demonstration of the power of God. The demonstration of the word of God. In my life, in my ministry, pray. In my business, in my education, in my family. There must be results in 2016. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let your light shine before men that they may see it. When men see, there is a level of notable results. You can argue all kinds of things, but you can't argue results. It says that they may glorify your Father in heaven. The last prayer point. Listen, please, I want you to pray this with all your heart. Father, connect me to influential relationships this year. Just pray what I'm asking you to pray. Lift your voice. Connect me to men of influence across different strata. Men who will allow me ride on their success. Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections that will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime. Men of influence in every mountain. Men of influence in the government men of influence in finance men of influence in the educational realm oh god that in every area raise men to stand for me raise men to speak for me raise men to advocate for me make my life easy this year pray make my life easy this year as I serve you, let there be ease in my life. I rise upon the influence of many. I rise upon the strength of quality relationships, on common access, on common doors, 
uncommon resources uncommon encounters hallelujah please when you go back I'd like all of you to listen to two teachings activating I mean um, activating breakthroughs the ministry of destiny help us listen to it again no matter how many times you've listened to it and then listen to activating seasons of greatness sit on that teaching and cry your heart unto God hallelujah I want to prophesy over your life please I want you to believe it believe it many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment listen you don't God created provision you don't have to struggle your way by yourself there are people that have been put strategically to help you you can reject the help to your detriment there are people who have traveled far and near. There are whole families in this place. Travel distances and hours just to come. Some of you are within reach. Yet you will not open up your heart. Don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back. And you are there. Just make up your mind. The Bible said by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. He said by a prophet they were preserved. It's not human worship. There may be exaggerations here and there, but it does not. Prophecy is powerful. It can frame your reality. Please, I want you to believe it. Prophecy is very powerful. This is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction. Listen. Let me tell you how prophecy works. Look up. I know our time is gone, but let me just use one example. Come, anybody. Prophecy is like a charm. Listen. When it is spoken, it leaves as i'm speaking it's like a charm it comes upon you and creates an effect it makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. It's not like the sound was wrong. It was never there. Prophecy called it. Prophecy calls things that be not as though they are. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. Father, let there be results in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above all names, I speak unto you. An unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Listen. A dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names I prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh I command it to be so in the spirit I command it to be so in the spirit I pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now I prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable I release it upon you right now 
or in 2016 receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor God will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will soar into your grace I pray for you this year. May the spirit of revelation, illumination and insight into the mysteries and the oppression of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Oh, eyes to see, eyes to see. I release it upon you. Uncommon dimension of access to spiritual realities. Shake it, take it, take it. I release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the Lord Jesus. My goodness, there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit I open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit I open you up to mysteries I open you up to mysteries in the name of Jesus I open you up to mysteries, strange operation of mysteries. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every person who you must connect to to rise wherever they are is called a year of multiplied influence I'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise I release access to you in the name of Jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of Jesus oh connect with influential people I release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence I stand upon this apostolic office and I prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of Jesus they will listen to you when you speak. They will rise up to help you. Rise up for you. Every door that refused to open in 2005, in the name of Jesus, under this multiplied grace, we compel that door to open. In the name of Jesus, Every door that refused to open, every obstacle that refused to let you go, right now in the name of Jesus, I command that door open now. Open now. Hear me. I prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family. Hear me again. This year we command results in your family. May the angel that has been assigned to Koinonia, the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word, may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of God to come alive. Listen, some of you, it will not reach 24 hours, your result will start coming. Believe me, it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen 
koinonia you will share testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you will think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age-long challenge prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ take god seriously more than ever before begin to press into god you've been coming for koinonia you are not a worker in any department locate a department and settle and commit yourself commit yourself to prayer commit yourself to the, to the word make sure you listen to some of the announcements i'm supposed to bring because they are very strategic now very quickly our time is gone but very quickly there are people outside and inside everybody please keep standing there are people here you were invited some of you have been here and you are making a decision for jesus tonight you're saying lord i don't want to start off this year my own way i've lived my life the way i want to live but i've heard your word some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time some of you have given your life to christ but for whatever reason you found yourself derailing this is the time to make it right please it's important we all start on a good note wherever you are inside and outside please i'd like you to make your way i'll just count one to five for the sake of our time those who are coming back to jesus christ and those who are saying man of god lead me to jesus i want to see him take me from glory to glory i want you to make your way right now and come to the front one celebrate them as they come please please make sure you start coming there are people outside clear the way for them give jesus praise you must start 2016 correctly god bless you keep coming there are still people inside sitting down when you hear the voice of the lord jesus christ know that that voice is to you no matter what you have done make up your mind koinonia celebrate them as they come the lord is changing their destinies tonight believe me this is an encounter that will change your life forever it's an encounter that will begin new things three there are still more people inside and outside there are still more people inside and outside please don't sit back the lord is speaking to you make your way to the front make your way to the front very quickly no matter how far you are find your way to the front don't be ashamed don't be afraid until you are born again you cannot connect with what god is doing please believe me sin will keep the presence of god far from any man sin will rob you from stepping into the reality see it's not really just the sin it is our refusal to open up ourselves he said if we confess our sin god is faithful and just to forgive us of every sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness i like all of you in front here to lift your right hand there are people here young and old lift your right hand to jesus and i want you to say it from the depth of your heart you are not just reciting a poem oftentimes people come out but they, they are just joking as if they are reciting a poem mean this from your heart jesus is here say after me lord jesus i believe in you tonight i have heard your word i declare that you are my lord you are my savior this night i receive you into my heart 
be my lord and be my savior the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god my past is rolled away and god gives me a new beginning in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father i thank you for these precious people that you have brought out they have heard your word and they have responded to it my god and my king i pray that you change their lives forever may the power of sin the flesh and the world be broken in their lives forever i pray that out of these ones you will make mighty men and women of god in the name of jesus the grace to continue in the faith is released upon you in jesus name you will never never return to what you just left dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 